create two tables sales and stock and insert some values into sales then it automatically update the sales and stock okay if any update or delete or insert happen in sales table then it will automatically update in stock table how it is with the help of triggers okay. let's create a trigger together we will use a simple example updating a stock table whenever a sale is recorded this is our example okay first create new database and name it as product 1 I am already created a new database named product 1 okay after this create sales and stock tables in this database okay sales table where new sales are recorded a stock table that keeps track of its quantities we want the trigger to automatically reduce the stock when a sale is added to the sales table okay see the following code this code does a few things okay it creates a trigger called TRG insert stock on the sales table. It specifies after insert, meaning it will execute after a row is inserted into the sales table. Inside the trigger, we update the stock table by subtracting the quantity of the items sold. Okay, then first check the stock table. Next one, insert a new sales in sales table. Finally, check the stock again. Okay. As you can see, the stock of item ID has been, been reduced automatically. Then the trigger worked. Right. This code does a few things. It creates a trigger called TRG delete stock on the sales table. It specifies after delete meaning it will execute after a row is deleted into a sales table inside the trigger we update the stock table by adding the quantity of the items deleted okay then first check the stock next delete a selected sale finally check the stock as you can see, the stock for item ID 2 has been deleted and item quantity added to the stock automatically. Okay, the trigger is worked. This code does a few things. It creates a trigger called TRG update stock on the sales table. It specifies after update increment or decrement the value of the sale meaning it will execute after a row is updated into the sales table inside the trigger we update the stock table by updates the quantity of the selected item inserted or deleted first check the stock next update a selected sale finally check the stock again as you can see the stock for item ID 1 has been updated automatically the trigger work okay. what is a trigger in SQL a trigger is a special type of store procedure in a database that is automatically executed or triggered when certain events occur create two tables one is sales and second one is stock okay enter insert a new values into sales uh, for example quantity 5 then it will automatically update into stock table okay see the figures and it is detected into the stock value and update stock is 5 okay triggers are mainly three types one is dml trigger Instead, uh, subcategories after triggers, it executes after an action, insert, update, or delete. 
instead second one is instead of triggers replace the action executes the custom logic instead okay and second one is ddl triggers data definition language triggers okay response to data definition language events like create alter or draw and next one is logon triggers response to log logon events in the database okay first create a database name it as product one i am already created now next create sales table click below next create stock table like below given next enter some values in stock table okay then after trigger we are using after trigger executes of after any action like insert update or delete below code shows then insert some values into sales Pull and stock table. Stock table quantity is consists fifteen actual stock. Then enter the sales table quantity five. Then update the stock is it will minus the stock in. The next one is delete stock. Trigger delete stock. When triggering happened in sales table, like a command given command is delete. Then trigger delete stock will be detect the. quantity and it's add into the stock see the figures next one is when update event is happened in sales table then it it's automatically updates in stock let's see the when it's happened inserted or deleted triggers will happen then it automatically update the stock key characteristics of triggers first one event driven triggers are activated by database events such as insert update or delete second one associated with tables and views they are linked to specific tables or view in the database third one is executed automatically once defined triggers executes automatically when the specified event occurs fourth one cannot be invoked directly unlike store procedures or functions triggers cannot be called or executed directly benefits of using triggers first one enforce complex business rules second one automate repetitive database tasks third one main referential integrity between tables next one possible drawbacks first one can introduce performance overhead if used excessively second one debugging and maintenance can be challenging and third one is hidden execution may lead to unexpected behavior if not carefully managed